Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Settlers Saturday, episode 111 today, guys. Now we're carrying on with the multiplayer. This is the second level, well, second episode of the multiplayer. Now I've got a bit of a cold today, you might be able to tell, so it's very fortunate that I've got this pre-recorded stuff so I can still dish out Settlers Saturday to you guys. So I'm going to shut up now and uh, we'll carry on with the show. Oh, I've messed up here. I realise that I've not made any meat for the iron mines. Oh, you just need to plop down some hunters real quick. Oh yes, I I placed the goose farm. Oh, the goose farm is massive. It's absolutely huge. Okay, it's not it's not too bad actually. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was huge, but it's not so bad. Oh, I need to remember to make residences. I've just placed a large residence. Oh. They're taking the time with it. They're taking a very long time. I should probably spend my last... Uh, my last shovels making them into, into diggers. Hmm. I, f I forget that uh, I forget to do that because it's it's manual in, in this game. Yeah, yeah. Though it was manual in no, in, in it's in Settlers Three. You set you set percentage and then they just go and pick it up. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. So it was man. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. You could manually set the percentage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then you could just forget about it. You could set it to what thirty percent or whatever, and and leave it for the entire game. Yeah. What is my backlog? I guess my backlog is people. It is not logs, as you uh, as you tend to have a problem with a backlog of logs. A backlog of logs, yeah. I have uh, <laughs> I have watched as much as I, so I can say that. <laughs> uh, maybe I've got a backlog of planks. Let me have a look. It's hard to see the buildings actually because now they're surrounded by trees. Mm. Because I placed the forester right next to them. <laughs> I can't see the buildings. Actually, you can just click on the buildings and see. So, uh, you know, with the hunter, yeah. ap apparently the best place to put it is somewhere really out of the way. Yeah. Have you done that? Did you do that? Yeah, I put it in a in a in a stone patch because I can't build in that stone patch. Then they then they have uh, free reign on all the animals in that area. Oh yeah, good idea. Good idea. I can't really see anywhere that would be perfect for me. Um, you don't have the same stone patch as I do. Maybe I do, but it depends how I've. How I've squeezed in buildings yeah, I guess. where the stone patch used to be. Um, where the stone patch used to be, it's it's too big to just be chopped down like that. Oh, it, was it the original one? Like you started off with a stone patch a little bit in your base. You you start with a little one and then you get uh, you get two big ones uh, up against the mountain. Oh yeah, yeah, and you've got it down there somewhere. Yeah, in between the two big ones. Yeah, something like that. I think that's a good idea. It is producing meat, but I don't know how fast. Let's see what kind of range does it have? It doesn't really have a, have a lot of range. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Though you actually already have the settler. I was looking in the um, the list of people, and there there is already a hunter just standing there waiting around. So I think maybe it's suggesting that you get a hunter. Hmm. Yeah. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice start. Uh, to resources. Having, large, uh, to having large resources. Well, I mean, it's a nice. Uh, it's a nice start to get to get hunters before you get your get your meat production up. Yeah. I just got a message saying the camp is ready. The camp is ready. What does that mean? Oh, I built a storage area. Oh. What was I planning on storing? I'm not sure. Nothing. 
I definitely built it for a reason. Oh, okay, tools, tools. I accidentally built, um, I accidentally requested like eight pickaxes from the toolsmith. And now he's just like, he's got those eight pick pickaxes there and um, he can't produce any useful tools. Ah. Oops. I'm being so slow. I have I have these uh, these cacti farms, and uh, they are just getting filled up with uh, filled up with ag agaves. Is what they're called. I guess it's not not cactus. It's something else they grew in the desert. I guess it's a f it's a sort of cactus. Huh. But not actual. Not official. Not like not like the like the prairie cactus where you. Uh, the like like the ones that are normally there they are different yeah yeah they have a sort of uh, sort of orange red flower in the middle i think it's a it's a sort of flower how is it spelled uh, it's spelled a g a v e a so type it in type it into the old yeah. chat for me Oh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, man. <laughs> a a gave, yeah. I think it's a guy for something like that. Okay, yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to. You know, sometimes you can just place down buildings and place down buildings, and um, and then you've got too many. You've got too many projects. Yeah. Got a large residence still. That large residence is still being built because they're so slow. <laughs> Gonna need some more stone cutters. How many do you have? I have two at the starting area, but they are getting bad. And then I then I made a third one, which is also yeah. getting bad range. Oh yeah, yeah. Like they've worked so hard. Yeah. What I was thinking about the hunter is like you have to put him out of the way so we can get as much meat as possible. But then once he gets the meat, he's, he's really far out of the way. So you have your carriers have to carry halfway across your base. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a strain, but uh, yeah, I think it's better than having having to fabricate the meat from first making grain, then you have a carrier carrying that, and then you carry it to um, to uh, pick farm or goat farm or what you have and then you also need a carrier to go and carry water to that and then you so, so i think i think yeah, on, the, on, yeah. the, on the grand scheme it's not um it's not that that bad labor wise i guess so because the the meat from the hunter can go directly yeah. directly to the iron mine yeah that's a good point actually that's a good point I've not bothered building a hunter yet, and I think I might do. You've convinced me. I want to use my hunter and, and kill the donkeys for meat. Uh, can you do that? <laughs> no, you can't. Would be nice. Think... Would be nice if you could. Uh, we, well, yeah, because then you could have a donkey farm. But that would be, yeah, that. Hmm. <laughs> Have that have wouldn't really be worthwhile. And, and have, a, have a hunter go into the donkey farm and kill the donkeys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense, does it? No, but it, uh, it, would, be, it would be nice though. <laughs> like the whole idea of the hunter is to avoid the green and the water. <laughs> uh, I might... Uh, where should I put this hunter? Okay, I found found a good spot. I think, maybe not. Oh, how nice! Uh, I just realized that where you normally decide who gets what kinds of food, they now have a small icon saying what kind of food they like they like the best. Oh, really? It just tells you, so you don't have to guess. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Let me have a little look. Oh yeah, I see. In, in the distribution. Yeah. That is really good. Oh, I'm making all kinds of strange weapons. I bet I am as well. I didn't think about that. Uh, where do I set that? 
Where is it? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you have to go on the weaplesmith itself. And oh then yeah, right. It. Come on, come on. <laughs> I need to do some. Uh, what are what are they called in English? Uh, Blowguns, right? Oh um, yes. What is, what is your special unit? So I've got the swords, the bows, there's the armor for the champion, is that? Yeah, and then and you have something else. The backpack? <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. The backpack? Backpack. <laughs> the backpack catapult. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the backpack catapult. There we go. I am definitely recruiting a few backpack catapults. <laughs> so your guys just set up shop and destroy buildings. I don't know. I have no idea. I think I think so. I think you, I think that is actual machines they uh, deploy and uh, destroy buildings. The backpack catapult. I couldn't even say it, man. I couldn't say it. I'll just use my blowgun darts to uh, to freeze your. Backpack catapults. <laughs> what? What a strange thing. I definitely need to see this. I definitely need to see that. I hope it will give some interesting footage. I hope so. I hope so. Lag, lag, lag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many temples do you have? Uh, three. Really? Yeah, man. I'm on the ball. On the ball with the temples. No, I have no temples whatsoever. Maybe I should start looking at temples. I'm starting to produce tequila. Tequila. It's weird that you need um, you need uh, desert for it. Well, I guess you need you need the desert to cultivate the a jive a cave uh, a cave. I think maybe a a cave a cave. Yeah, we'll we'll call it that. That or two. Yeah, but it's it's a little bit annoying because like uh, back in Settlers Three, the Romans could just. Actually, the no the Romans needed hills. Yeah, they needed a slope for the wine. But the who could who could do it normally? Was it the Egyptians? The they, all they needed was wheat. Yeah, they made they made beer. Made it. Yeah, made beer. That's a bit overpowered. Like especially if you was Asian and you just could not find. Ah, any, yeah, but um, but the most any over the, swamp. the most overpowered was supposed to Romans definitely. Oh yeah, that that came really easy. They made a lot of wine. Well, the the problem is uh, the Romans they sort of skip uh, pr a production uh, step mm. because the wine yard make the wine. Yeah, you don't need someone to fabricate the wine. Where the where the Egyptians they need a a, a, a brewery to mm. make the beer. Mm. What do I need here? Uh, oil press. Oh, the, these buildings look so cool. The oil press looks sick. You're you're gonna gonna love the sunflowers. I've seen screenshots, but I have not have not tried making them. And we have a lag. Yeah. A lag. Singular. A single lag. So we're storing. Uh, I've run out of storage space. I forgot. Do you do you play zoomed out so you can see all your glorious empire? Do you play like zoomed in and look at all the all the people? Oh, this guy uh, is carrying water. Let's <laughs> let's follow him and see where he where he puts the water. Let's call him Steve. Let's see what he has in his pockets. Steve walks by the building. Something the building side. 
And Steve put, um, the, put the water in the tequila maker. No, I play zoomed out. I play zoomed out. Okay. Which is a little bit strange because I think the buildings are obviously designed to be viewed at a certain distance away. But I think the, the background, like the plants and the trees, are designed to be viewed at a different distance. You know what I mean? I always thought that the, the plants look really good close up. But then the buildings don't look so good close up. I don't know, I think it all looks pretty bad closed up. I, well, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I, I don't really see that see that that big a difference. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe like the water, the water looks terrible, zoomed in. Mm. Like what is that? Just just pixels. <laughs> the water generally in this game is not not very good. Uh, should we save the game again? Yeah. Okay. Are you saving it as well, or? All? It's it's sa it's saved on my side. I think I can't save it again. So we played for thirty minutes. Uh, well, we saved it about fifteen minutes oh, in. Oh so yeah, okay. So I'm looking at Bandicam now. It says forty-seven minutes oh. I've been recording for. Yeah, okay. That's uh, that's a good measurement for for time then. But I think it's more than that because my mouse was flickering a little bit, so I turned it off and on. So it might be close to fifty minutes. And I'm doing terribly to say we've been playing for 50 minutes. Yeah, same. I'm like, I'm like, where are my soldiers? Have you got no soldiers? No soldiers at all then? Is that... <laughs> oh, I don't have enough soldiers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you have made a lot of soldiers. Uh yes. Yes. <laughs> a lot of soldiers, right. Have you got any thieves? Have you got any thieves in my base this time? Lots. Lots of thieves. I haven't I haven't done that. I might make a few thieves. Good idea. You've got a few thieves coming your way. Only one thief actually, no more than one. You can't afford more. Oh yeah. I say that because oh. I have huge your base. No, I'm kidding. Oh, it says waiting for Aliester. It says waiting oh, for Aya Clever. Please don't break. Okay, let's run again. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. <laughs> ah, old technology. Yeah. I need to step up my game, man. I've got nothing being built. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, the sunflowers do look strange. Do you ever make the make the eye catchers? I guess you don't. Uh, well, I can't at the moment because I have no gold. But I think there's oh, all, all of them cost gold. Yeah, yeah. It does increase the strength, that's it. It increases yeah. your soldier's strength, doesn't it? Um, I mean, might, it might be worth it. But then that, that, two, that two gold could be sent on a troop. You could use that on a troop, so... Yeah. I don't know. It's a... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what is the best in that situation. I think by the time you have a huge army, if you have a huge army, then maybe it's worth investing in a few eye catchers. Yeah, I guess it's like that. Like like when you when you play Age of Empires, it's it's um, it's only viable to do the upgrades if you actually have a lot of the troops you're upgrading. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm doing bad at this. If I was if I was playing properly, I'd be gone already. I'd be wiped out already. Like back in the day when you're on the old dial-up and you've only got... My dial-up cut out after two hours. My internet cut out after two hours. So you had to do the entire game in two hours. Oh. 
and then people would be on on Settlers Three, and they'd be like, "Hey, let's have peacetime of 100 minutes." <laughs> and I'd say, "Yeah, okay," which gave me 20 minutes to fight this guy. Building so slow, so slow, slow. What are you again? The uh, the Mayans or the Mayans or whatever it is. You're not expanding a lot. I know. It's, that's happening very slow. Are you finally in my base then? No. Of course not. Oh, I can. I see you. I think. I don't know. Let the paranoia begin. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I can. I can click your buildings and see what they are. So I'm like, oh, what's this thing? That looks interesting. Now oh, you, you've killed my thief. I sent a thief in and literally just looked back and he's dead now. Okay. You have some. Uh, th is that is that pine trees? I uh, yeah. I don't know what they are. I thought they were pine trees, but I think they are supposed to be pine trees. Maybe. Yeah. They look like really exotic pine trees, though. Yeah, but I guess that's. Uh, I guess that's a settler's feature. Oh, my sound cut out. Weirdly. Is it back? The, the the music. Oh. Has it come? Has it come back? No. Maybe you will uh, hit the old s save button again. Maybe you will have uh, an easier time editing from from this point on then. Oh, without the flute. Yeah. Without the flute in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Might be harder. It might be a harder time to edit. Oh, we do have a lot of stone. Don't think we will. We will need to do the the old stone mine. Uh, st st stole. St stone mine. Stolen mine. <laughs> Steal the mine. So what's this? Looks like farms. Pretty nice. Ah, uh, you guys be so paranoid. Sunflowers. Nice. Oh, I see. I see you. I see you. Pretty obvious thief there, right? Yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, what? Now you're outside the base. He turns into a pioneer. Oh, what? That is really cool. So he's holding a shovel. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. That's a nice little feature there. Yeah. So, it, like, back in Settlers 3, it was so obvious, wasn't it, when you could just see yeah. one of your guys outside of the base. It was like, oh, come on. I could see you so clearly. Oh, that's a barrack. I was like, what's that weird building? And then suddenly soldiers appeared. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're, mess you're messing with me now. I have no idea about your base. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, and I can't see anything within the fog of war. That's that's brutal. Uh, yeah, that is annoying. Obviously, when I was saying about you lose the stone, you obviously can't see any of the buildings either. Yeah. I don't. I don't like that. I I like to be able to at least see the last thing I have seen. It it doesn't make any sense that. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I think Settlers 4 does have quite a few things. They've done quite a few things right. You know what I mean? Quite a few improvements, but then. Yeah. Mm, some things aren't as good. It just feels wrong, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Your base seems very quiet. I know. Is yours busy? Is yours a busy hive of activity? Yes. No. No. <laughs> yes. No. 
Oh, there's a lot of stone here in the start. I, d I didn't didn't realize that because they were all hidden. The hidden stone depot. Depot. Which where's that? The um. The the start stone. I didn't realize there was so much stone. I was about to delete back. the. Yeah. I was about to delete the old stone cutters, but uh, shouldn't do that. And I'm also in the position now where I am. I'm not building anything. At least not a lot of not a lot of things. Always go go for some uh, large residences. You can never have too many uh, residences. Residences. Residence. Resid I. Residence I. <laughs> <laughs> no. Residences. Residences. Yes, that's the official English. How nice of you to uh, teach me proper English. Now you know. Yeah. Now you know. Next time you talk to someone. <laughs> Next time you say that word, you'll know. It would, it would probably be a while before I say that word to uh, to someone. Residences. Is <laughs> Should I steal something? No. Well, we didn't. We didn't talk about the gentleman's <laughs> code. There was no gentleman's code. Gentleman's code. What is that? Yeah. What's What's that? Do you want to see the? Um, the backpack catapult. I'm going to send one guy in and see what he does. Then it's a good thing I don't have only one tower, otherwise it would uh, have been a short game. I, I I don't know if he could take out a tower on his own. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Well, you never know. We'll see. That would be overpowered, man. <laughs> I wonder what? if this guy is, go is go going to make it, ho it home with that uh, with that load. Oh, what does he have? He's uh, he's walking on his own. I guess he's he, I guess he's also walking home. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, let me have a look. I don't know if you can see the resource he had. That's that's actually a good question. Well, tell me where he is, and I'll let you know. Okay, he is at your at your tower, which is which is ju is just being being finished. The one th at the border on the on the top. Okay, yeah. Do you see a guy walking with a with a shovel there? He's he just exited the border. He had a hammer. Oh. It, w it was a hammer, and now he's left. It's a shovel. <laughs> he turned into he turned into a pioneer instantly. You see the shovel. <laughs> 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 Oh man. There's worse things you could steal actually. Maybe I'm gonna intercept you now, we'll see if I can make it in time. Oh no, he, oh, I sent someone to intercept and he's gone to the tower. <laughs> the tower just got completed and he's walked up to it. Uh. So you get away, you get away with it this time. I'm pretty sure I sent in... Did you kill someone? Did you kill the... Maybe... I'm not sure... Uh, oh right, I need gold to make the large temple. Oh yeah. You could steal some from me. Are you making gold? Yeah. Oh, just, oh. just started. I wonder if this... If this hunter is still hunting. He is hunting. Hunting in the fields of stone. Looks like a wild hen there. Or a cock. A wild cock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is he hunting for wild cock? Is that it? I think that's <laughs> that's the that's the proper English, right? You hunt you hunt for cock in the in the wild. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's it. Okay, so on that bombshell, I'm going to call the episode here. Like I say, guys, I've still got a cold, so I don't want to talk too much. But I want to just give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Um, I've updated to Windows 10, by the way. So, uh, yeah, um, that's... 
obviously quite notorious for messing up the uh, the GOG games, especially like Settlers 3 and Settlers 4. Um, I'm, man I'm trying to get around that issue, but uh, yeah, luckily I've got this pre-recorded footage, so it gives me a week or two to try and figure it all out. I've also got this cold at the same time as well, so luckily I've got this pre-recorded things. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of work to edit uh, um, compared to the normal episodes, but it was a lot of fun as well. So uh, leave some love on this video, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this kind of back and forth format. Let me know in the comments if your feelings are more complicated than that, as they say. And I will see you guys next week for another episode of Settlers Saturday.